Hey. Hi, we're here with Sharnice Holland, lecturer in the MEMS department. We wanted to get to know you a little bit better. Do you have a minute to answer some questions? Sure, come on in. Is there anyone here at McKelvey who inspires you? Um, I actually have a few like colleagues. Um, of course, like my colleague here, Chiamaka, she's great. And then I have uh, my old mentor, Dr. Akoff. She really was monumental in my PhD experience. You help run the Thermal Management Summer REU program at WashU. I do. I actually help with the Thermal Management REU and WUSEF. I don't think students understand how impactful an REU is. Um, I did an REU in undergrad and I made lifelong friends. I made lifelong connections. Um, it can really be impactful for your career. What was the last song you listened to on repeat? <sighs> Probably SZA, Seek and Destroy. Nice. What's your favorite place to eat in St. Louis? Broadway Oyster Bar. What piece of advice would you want to go back and give yourself as an undergraduate student? Have grace with yourself. Your PhD thesis was in additive manufacturing. Can you explain what that is? Um, so I studied 3D printed metal. Um, and so you really, it's just powders, right? They're, they lay across a powder bed. There's a laser that melts and fuses those powders together and it builds your sample in a layer by layer fashion. Should I show an example? Sure. A little minion here. All right, so you can really see the detail. What was the last book you read that you couldn't put down? Oh, I read a lot. Um, so I'm gonna have to go with The Nickel Boys, and then there's uh, Children of Blood and Bone, and then maybe Take My Hand, that's it. <laughs> What's your hometown? I'm born and raised right here, St. Louis, Missouri. Gotta ask, where'd you go to high school? Lafayette High School, Rockwood School District. Star Trek or Star Wars? Neither. <laughs> I don't I don't watch it. I'm not I'm not that kind of person. I did watch The Mandalorian. This is the way. Where'd you get your undergraduate degree? I went to the great Alabama State University in Montgomery, Alabama. What was your favorite thing about going to school there? <sighs> Honestly, the fact that my professors, my department chair, my dean, the students, everyone was black. I for once I didn't feel like a minority. If you weren't an engineer or educator, what would you be? I would be a pharmacist. I wanted to go to pharmacy school originally. What's the best advice someone's ever given you? I'm gonna say my mom, to each they own, do whatever makes you happy. <laughs> Love it. Were there any special programs or opportunities that helped you earn your PhD? Being able to have different opportunities that help target minorities get funding, mentorship, um, and really help, because I was a first generation student also, just. I did LSAMP, I did Bristol Doctorate, I had an NSF NASA grant, so all these grants really helped to get me here. What was your first job? It was a small boutique right here in St. Louis. Um, I just rang out customers, hung up clothes, it was great. They paid me in clothes too. <laughs>